Okay, so fish versus lizard or lizard versus fish, whatever you might call it. It's a question that, that's been asked throughout the human history. Okay, not really. So anyway, some really cool stuff coming up. Can't wait to talk about it. So for a while now, I've been thinking about having, you know, a bearded dragon. And it's just one of those things that I've always wanted. So I've had friends that are into lizards and reptiles and stuff like that, exotic pets. So here's the thing. Throughout the life of, uh, you know, doing this channel about aquariums and stuff, I actually had a lot of you guys say, hey, you guys... You should do, you know, a review or profile on reptiles and stuff like that. I'm like, that's weird. I'm mainly a aquarium channel, so usually you don't get into that thing. And I really didn't want to cross over into lizards and, and exotic pets until way, 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 you know, in the future on this channel. I was going to do a little series on exotic pets on this channel. Just a little series, maybe a week or something of, uh, you know, five or six videos and uh, call it good. Now, when I call my friend who's an expert in this, he's been doing it all his life, he said, hey dude, I want to start a YouTube channel about exotic pets and stuff. I'm like, let's do it together. Now that's what this vlog is all about. We're going to go into a little journey today on exotic critters. We're going to go to a reptile show. So if you guys are into um, reptiles or, or exotic creatures and stuff like that, check out my new channel, my friend. It's linked down below in the video description. Hit that subscribe button and uh, help me uh, you know, push up this new channel. That would be awesome. Now, I know a lot of you or some of you guys have asked me about exotic pets. So anything for you guys. Let's get wet. So I just picked up Nathan and we're on our way to the reptile show. Good morning guys. Uh, well, if you guys don't know already, Nathan is my partner in this uh, in the uh, uh, Micro Wilderness channel. So if you guys haven't ch uh, checked out, again, links down at the bottom. Go subscribe if you're interested or even keep all, you know, exotic, exotic reptiles exotic. Or, or pets. Not just reptiles, right? Because we're yeah, doing yeah. this. Well, lizards are a reptile, but we're, we're doing tarantulas too and amphibians. Amphibians? So, yeah. Okay, so, cool. Frogs, salamanders, stuff like that. Awesome. Now, yeah. you've been to a reptile. I haven't been. I've been to a pet show that had reptiles, mm -hmm. but not like a strict reptile. I know there's a difference because when I go to like the uh, aquarium and reef shows, they're, you know, specific ones. They're different from just being with a entire pet show. So, what is it going to be like? What am I going to expect? Well, okay, so it's a little misleading. This reptile show does carry tons of tarantulas, tons of bugs. Uh, it, it will have a lot of frogs and stuff there too. Okay. Uh, we're expecting a ton of vendors. Uh, like on average, it's over 50 vendors. I think this one has over 100 vendors. Okay. Uh, this is the Pomona Reptile Super Show. Uh, yeah, I'm super stoked. All right, cool. Yeah. So here we go. We're here in the Fairplex and we're trying to find a place. I don't know where the hell this place. Hey, where's it at? I don't know, man. All right, keep looking? Yeah. All right. Hey, Nate, we there yet? Uh, you know, I, I, this show is a lot smaller than I thought, man. It's right there. Oh. Is that it? Is that all we're looking at? Hey guys, we finally found it. Let's, let's go in. Let's stop filming and let's go in.
I saw it's uh, lunchtime, and uh, oh man, I've been looking at all the bearded dragons. Uh, I I'm definitely going to get one now. Bearded dragons and uh, leopard geckos, definitely. So uh, no, I'm just talking to the camera. Oh sorry. Say hi. Hi guys. Uh, I'm opening this little container with uh, pole cripes, uh, grandma stole with pole cripes, or what they call the chocolate goldney. Oh, that's so cool. That's pretty. Hey, he's not camera shy. No, no, he's good. Uh, while we're gonna go, we're gonna go. But again, bearded dragon, I think is going to be in my near future especially leopard geckos too since I could get those for free probably from him uh, bearded dragon though might be different he says um, a regular normal bearded dragon is like 30 bucks for a baby so it's much more affordable but the ones I was looking at the really nice ones there's a really red one I love it's just gorgeous like how much was that red one 200 350 yeah you know I have to sell an uh, arm and leg for that one so but then again I keep a coin so it shouldn't be a big surprise right Is it weird that I'm checking out all this driftwood and getting wood over wood? Okay, so I'm seeing these snakes curled up on the bar thing, so... Nathan, let me, let's, well, what is up with that? So, okay, so these are green tree pythons. Uh, they're in, like, Indonesia, Australia, New Zealand. They actually sit like this on branches, so, like, when they collect uh, dew and condensation, they can just drink off their bodies. Yeah, and uh, babies come in two phases, red and yellow. So both of these guys are panther chameleons. This right here is an Ambilobi panther chameleon, which basically is the region of Madagascar that he originates from. So that gives him certain color characteristics, while this guy has a totally different one. This guy's so. an Ambanja, so he's from the region of Ambanja in Madagascar. They uh, typically have a little bit more of the blues, sometimes some greens and yellows. This guy in particular is uh, cool because he's got the blue on blue here with the different shades. He also got a little bit of that red dotting throughout there. Um, he's uh, only about eight months old, so he's still got some development to go. But um, he, this is his first time being at a show, um, and uh, he seems to be tolerating it, but uh, he probably yeah. would enjoy his time spent elsewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, he's still doing pretty good. You can see how active he is. And he's uh, definitely on the move, um, but it's uh, nice to see the variation the that, that they can come in. Dead gym. Okay, so uh, just walking around and we're talking about terrariums and paludariums. Uh, terrariums, he's just like, oh yeah, well, you know, it's a little complicated to, you know, set up and it goes all the plants and stuff. And I was like, seriously, come on, look who you're talking to. I think we're going to set up a terrarium uh, in this channel or on that. Uh, Michael uh, Wilderness Channel and just just to create a just gorgeous scape. I don't know if they call it aqua. They don't call it aquascape. Obviously, they call it scape. I don't know. So this is going to be a fun part about it for me. So check it out. Some of the setup here is pretty cool. Alright, so uh, we are done for the day. Now, there wasn't that many terrariums. Yeah, as living terrariums, I wouldn't say there was too much. Yeah, so I'm wondering, now I asked you, like, why isn't there much more uh, displays about terrariums and stuff? Like you know, I, I'm not quite sure, but I, I have an inkling that the, the reptile hobbyists 
don't want to do like the escaping aspect of a terrarium for a living terrarium. Really? Yeah. So I wonder if there's a lot of more people out there. If you guys are interested in seeing stuff like that, because I'm a plant tank guy, and I'm like looking at this, I'm like, this is easy stuff. <laughs> you know, yeah, we went across a display that actually had. Uh, you know, I, I named that all plant. I'm like, look, you're throwing the HC in the, in the tank. You're like, yeah, what you, the hell yeah, are you, you talking you about? you named all the plants. That yeah, I'm like, crazy. this is easy stuff. And I'm like, oh, no wonder. I'm like, this is me dry starting an aquarium. Right, right. You know, so, so it's your preliminary for your actual hobby. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking around and I really think I'm definitely getting lizards. He's going to set me up with a, uh, a really leopard nice gecko. leopard yeah. gecko, think a really nice like a super raptor or something. something oh, cool. there you go. Something cool like that. So. <laughs> All right, so I'm sorry. I just have to buy the setup. I'm gonna set up and figure out where to set it up. But I've been looking at other stuff like Beard Dragon. I'm definitely gonna have to get one because I'm falling in love with these guys. These guys are so cool. And the crested geckos are so cool. They're so cute. Yeah, the only th the downside about them is we are in Southern California and they can't yeah. handle like really high temperatures. Their threshold for temperature is pretty low, like 85 or something like that. Yeah, and that's a problem because uh, right now I'm having a problem with. Uh, climate control at my place. Yeah, I'm also looking at frogs and turtles. So this cool. show and him getting me and all this stuff pretty much uh, I think catapult me and wanting to do and terrariums. I'm glad to hear terrariums. That. Again guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon uh, so you know when I make new videos and uh, hit that like button and leave a comment about anything you see in this video. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video and go subscribe to the other channel. That's Nate. He's yeah. my uh, buddy on the other channel. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye.